So it's a happy moment for Europe uh, about uh, connecting uh, countries and, and uh, also to, to uh, ensure mobility, a single market. That's a threat to Europe. But now I'm going to introduce the next speaker. Uh, he, he has worked relentlessly uh, in recent months helping Europe out, finding solutions on the biggest challenges that we are right now facing, the refugee crisis, uh, closing of borders, um, nation states uh, may be longing for a certain amount of national protectionism. Um, and you can imagine it has been a rough ride because we also had several summits during this autumn. It seems that Europe is an instant crisis. Um, though Luxembourg is a very small member state, the Prime Minister, Xavier Bettel, has worked hard to keep Europe on track uh, on a steady course. Unfortunately, he has not been able to come to Copenhagen in persona, but he wanted to be here with us uh, talking about Europe, digital by default. Some say it is impossible to be at more places uh, at the same time, a kind of mission impossible. But he decided to use technology to make it possible right now, right here. Please welcome Xavier Beto. Hello everybody, on behalf of the Luxembourgish Presidency of the Council of the European Union, thank you for having me here today for some closing remarks. I'm thrilled that technology make it possible for me to be virtually here with you in Skopnegen House of Industry. Today money becomes virtual. The way we do business is increasingly digital. Transportation, health, energy, education and now even prime ministers. Given my somewhat unusual appearance today at this meeting, please allow me the fact, dear participants, that I have myself become digital by default in order to be with you today. I suppose that's the way things go. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this has been for you an interesting day of discussion on the European Commission Digital Single Market Initiative. Much good has doubtless been said today already in regard to the challenges and opportunities brought by this initiative. I'm confident that after today's program, you are all by now convinced of the importance of this initiative for Europe and for Denmark. Although I suspect most of you were already convinced of that before. Luxembourg has welcomed the Digital Single Market Initiative from day one. This probably comes as no surprise to those of you familiar with Luxembourg. We are a profoundly pro-European country, both a founding member of the EU and one of the three seats of the European institutions. But equally important when explaining our attachment to the DSM initiative is the fact that Luxembourg has a long history at the forefront of cross-border information technology in Europe. From the golden age of Radio Luxembourg in the 60s, where we broadcasted programs in five languages, to an audience in the tens of millions all over Europe, to today's RTL Group headquartered here in Luxembourg. From Astra's first private satellite TV programs in the late 80s, to today's SES, the number one satellite operator in the world, able to reach 99% of the world population and thus as a true European champion. And not forgetting, that Skype was founded in Luxembourg by a Dane and a Swede. Luxembourg has contributed to lay the foundations of Europe's digital single market and has provided along the way its fair share of European champions. Companies like RTL and SES in many ways preempted the success of the internal market. They were unable to fall back on the large national market and so knew from day one they had to seize the potential of a wider cross-border market. But it is only one part of the story. As much as they contributed to make a single European market a reality, these companies benefited from Europe. It was the drive towards European integration that allowed them to thrive. In the age of the Internet, European integration is increasingly necessary. The true beauty of digital technologies is that they are in an essence cross-border. Information knows no borders after all. The potential benefits of the digital economy abound, yet frequently divergent regulations and practices such as geo-blocking make it hard as present for Europeans to reap these benefits. Furthermore, the cost, both in time and money, 
of complying with 28 regulatory frameworks persistently drags down our companies. As Prime Minister of Luxembourg, I speak from experience. My country, ICT-oriented, multilingual, and at the heart of Europe, bears every day the burden and limitations of the fragmentations of Europe's digital market. Europe, these difficulties are particularly felt by those companies that could be our next European tech champions. As they fight to scale their business beyond their home country, the digital single market is the obvious solution. Too often, we hear that Europe needs to start producing its own tech champions. Ladies and gentlemen, Europe does produce tech champions, and these flourish with European integration. What do they want? More legal certainty, more quality infrastructure, and more European, the digital, more Europe, the, the, the digital single market should be seen as an integral part of the single market. Any obstacle in the digital world is also an obstacle in the offline world. Our aim should be, therefore, be to achieve a true internal market in the digital sphere. This is, at its core, a tale that needs more Europe, not less. A Europe-wide framework is essential for all of us, both big and small, SMEs and large corporations, the member states and the union. In this context, let me just say a few words about the efforts undertaken by the Luxembourg's presidency. Our programme acknowledges the strategic nature of digital technology through its objective of revitalising the single market by focusing on its digital dimension. This reflects our commitment to see the ongoing digital revolution recognised as a strategic cross-cutting priority as we do on the national level with the Digital Luxembourg Initiative. In line with the Commission's communications of last May, we have been hosting a wall array of meetings dedicated to making our continent fit for the digital age. Through events like this one, the Luxembourg Presidency remains committed, pending the legislative proposals to support the Commission's Digital Single Market Initiative. As for our main duties within the European Council, the conclusion of the ongoing reform of the EU regulatory framework on personal data protection remains our foremost priority. If Europe is to take the lead in the ongoing data economy revolution, we need to urgently modernise our data protection rules. We are at present working extremely hard to find an agreement by the end of this month, striving to find a balance between the legitimate concerns for privacy of citizens on one hand and the scientific and economic interest of the research and business communities on the other. Achieving a single set of rules across Europe will provide much needed legal certainty at this crucial time and be a major milestone towards a fully functional digital single market. Let me finish by stressing once more that Europe, from Copenhagen to Luxembourg and Tallinn to Lisbon, has both creative and entrepreneurial people as well as wealth of start-ups. To support them, we will create favourable conditions, allowing companies to scale up beyond national borders. With the Digital Single Market Initiative, it is in our hands to dismantle the barriers to cross-borders activities and allow our companies, big and small, to compete on even terms with the biggest in the world. Last, not least, I want to express my particular gratitude to Karsten Dupfat, CEO of Dance Industry, and his team for being a partner to this seminar and for hosting the event. Our thanks also go to the Danish Ministry for Business and Growth, the Danish Business Authority and Syntec Europa. Tack to them. Ladies and gentlemen, let us make the digital single market happen. Thank you for your participation and thank you for your attention. Have a nice day. I think uh, it was an interesting experience. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if there was less light, he would be more clear, but it was a very uh, interesting experience uh, to have him here with us. Uh, maybe you can applaud him. Um, and also, uh, it's a great opportunity to close this conference. Um, and uh, I want to say also that I've heard that Luxembourg City actually had a, um, uh, quite an experiment during the presidency. They have opened up for free Wi-Fi in Luxembourg City. And I was told by the ambassador that actually they want to extend the period of free Wi-Fi in Luxembourg City. 
I think other cities in Europe might use that as well as a, an, a good idea uh, to pick up on that. Um, and I think that could also help uh, people engage in debates about the future digital single market in Europe. I want to thank on behalf of the organizers, the European Commission, the Luxembourg Presidency, the Confederation of Danish Industry, and also about uh, Think Tank Europe and the Danish Business Authority. We would like to invite you for a small lunch out here. There's a lot of time for networking. And please engage in, in the debates and the public consultations that we'll hear from the com Commission. So keep on moving. Thank you.